You know how sometimes when you go through life and you find yourself not doing what you're supposed to do? You know, I was built to be an athlete. I was built to run. And now I'm getting the opportunity to do what it is that I was supposed to do. Go forward, go forward, Dale. Go forward. Yeah, nice. For the first time in his life, Dale Cameron's disability is not holding him back from playing the game he loves. It's just so important to me. I've always wanted to play football. You know, it's what I was built for. Get on up, loose ball! It's all part of Captain Terry Lydon's bold vision to take the hard, tough game of rugby league. Go forward, Anna. Go forward. Toss in a bunch of blokes who've never been allowed to play. No one would give him a go, you know, which he can play footy. First time they've played football in my life. And convince a high-profile club to give them their first big game. Yeah, it would make all their dreams come true. Thirty-three-year-old Dale Cameron has been weightlifting since he was a boy. And even though he's extremely strong, until recently, he thought his physical disability would stop him from ever playing rugby league. Uh, here we go, sweet. My disability, it was called transverse myelitis. When it first happened, I think I was 11. My spinal cord, yeah, it kind of caused, like, a full-body paralysis. Doctors even now don't really know much about it. 22 years later, the muscles in Dale's right leg are still wasted and weak, and his leg is still partly paralysed. He also has titanium rods in his spine. It just made me very uneven, and therefore my spine started curving and twisting in unnatural ways. It stops me doing a lot of things that I wanted to do. The new physical disability rugby league team is based at the home of the Ballina Seagulls. Terry Litton is a player and the captain of the team. I was at, actually at the gym when I first met Dale. I noticed he had a uh, brace on his leg. So I went up to him and I said, excuse me, I can see you've got a disability. Would you be interested in playing football? And he looked me up and down and the first thing he said to me was, do I get to tackle people? And I said, yeah. He said, OK, count me in. So just listen, remember, move forward when you get the He's ball. He's been training just about every night, and he can't wait for his first game. Good hands, Dale. Go forward, man. Go forward. Got to tackle one. Because he's been one of these kids that have never been allowed to play. Go forward, go forward, Dale. Mate, go forward, go forward. you got pace. Yeah, nice. It's challenging, it's learning plays and drills and all that stuff. But I'm sticking it out. I, I want this more than anything. Go, 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 go. Unlucky. That's tackle four. That's all right. And pass. Look to pass. Good ball. The Seagulls' Ballina ground has become almost a home away from home for Dale's teammate, Jono Everson. What time is it, Dale? Well, it's proving. 1.30. Yeah, I'll wait there. Jono helps out at the Seagulls' under-15s training nights and runs the water and kicking tea onto the ground for all their home matches. Do you like being one of the boys? Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. Go, boys! And how do you cheer them on? Yeah? Come on, score! Go, hey, Drew, just run, Drew! Ah! Woo! Let's go! Just... Woo! We don't have to do this. It's good. Woo! Jono has a moderate intellectual disability, plus a speech disability, plus he also suffers from anxiety and epilepsy as well. Let's go! And what do you like about football? Very good. Does it make you happy? Happy. Yeah. Ready for training session? He talks about it all the time when we see him. What are you learning at football training? I tackle. How to tackle? Yeah. Yeah? Good. And what else are you learning at football? Pass. How to pass it? Yeah. yeah. And are you making a few good runs? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. What's your favourite sport? Is it football? Football. Like all the players in his team, 
Terry Litton is no stranger to the challenges of living with a physical disability. In 2011, he nearly died from a brain aneurysm. A craniotomy saved his life, but was followed by a stroke and epileptic fits. I had to take a lot of medication. I was in another world most of the time, talking to people that weren't there. Probably the worst year on record for our family. They went through hell. The aneurysm has also left Terry legally blind. I'm blind in my right eye and I've only got 30% vision out of my left eye. Despite these hurdles, Terry was determined to return to playing rugby league, a dream that came true at the 2018 Commonwealth Championships when he played in one of Australia's physical disability rugby league teams. Rugby league's been a massive part of my life since I was a five-year-old boy. My dad took me down the park to play football, and that's probably been one of the best things that's ever happened to me. If, um, if I've got 500 friends in this world, I reckon I've got 450 of them from rugby league. And I know what it's like to play rugby league, and I wanted to do it again. And I've seen lots of boys that have never had that opportunity. They, they'll, they're the ones that come to the ground and they'll sit there and they'll watch and they're not allowed to, to play because of the certain disabilities they have. But now this is their chance to have a go, play a game of football. See them pull their boots on and enjoy themselves. Just do what everyone else does and see their families enjoy it. Yeah, it would make all their dreams come true. Next episode, we meet Anna who has wanted to play rugby league since he was a toddler. Someone's finally given him an opportunity to go and play, fulfil his dreams that he wanted to play football. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and we find out why the Gold Coast Titans come to town to meet our team. Thank <laughs> you.